tonight, a lesson for anyone not expecting a knock at the door. A Virginia Beach woman got just that from a man claiming to be a Verizon worker. She opened the door at first, but changed her mind after realizing something wasn't right. Tonight, besides Jason Marks, talked to her and has some good advice for all of us. Jason. Alvita, we'll never know what the man wanted when he knocked on that woman's door. She said she had, though, a strange feeling. Something was wrong. For starters, she doesn't even have any Verizon services. In this quiet Virginia Beach neighborhood, an encounter is making a lot of noise. It's kind of one of those things you don't think it would happen to you. This woman who asked us to hide her identity called 10 on your sign to get out a message. I don't want anything bad to happen to other people. Fortunately, nothing bad happened to her either, but she believes things could have been different. Last Wednesday, she'd just gotten back home to her condo across from Plaza Middle School. I parked my car in the parking lot and noticed a Verizon van. And a short distance away, I saw a, um, what appeared to be a, a Verizon employee working on uh, a sort of utility box. The woman says she went inside, and not even two minutes later, there was a knock at the door. When I opened it, he kind of just stood there for a second, and then he uh, said, oh, is this, and he recited my address to me, so I said, yeah, that's the correct address. Uh, and then right from there he said, okay, uh, I just need to come inside to plug something into your phone. The man said he worked for Verizon and had a similar logo on his shirt. But for this woman, things just weren't adding up. He had a bag of tools, but he didn't have any identification or documentation for the work or anything. She asked the stranger to leave, and with some questioning, he did. But not before she got his name. After a call to Verizon. I eventually got to someone who gave me concrete, uh, a concrete answer that this was not an, empl uh, an employee of Verizon. The man hasn't been seen since, but this woman was left to wonder what were his intentions. Thankfully, I was paying attention to notice those things, and I did listen to my instincts. Yeah, Verizon says all their employees carry some sort of ID badge, so you'll know that's an employee. Also, if you aren't sure, don't open the door. Call Verizon, and agents will let you know if an employee is supposed to be there. We did ask Beach Police if there have been any similar calls. I'm told this is the first one they've received. It's just something to be aware of. Live in the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side.